Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play System Shock 2. I apologize for the big delay in the videos, much like most school, I imagine, as we close in on the end of the fall semester, law school's ramping up, and I've been busier and busier, but I finally have a free couple of hours to get knock this out, so let's get it done. As I recall, last time we had just finished the recreation deck and were sitting at the entrance to Command. We had not yet received any instructions from Shodan, so let's pick it up there. I already hear a cyborg assassin. That's never good. My creation has run rampant. I demand their extermination. I have no choice but to destroy this starship. We can make our escape in, in the Rick in the Rickenbacker, but you must transfer my my, my intelligence to that ship first. Proceed to the Von Bronze Bridge on this deck. There you will find an access card to Command Center on Ops. Find the card and proceed to Ops. But beware. The human analyt hybrids grow more sophisticated by the minute. You do not. Alright. Just so we know, that email was Shodan, July 12th, 2114, regarding extermination. Alright, let's deal with that assassin before we do anything else. He's choosing to run away and hide near the camera, which is unfortunate for us. Dang it. He just called in his arachnid buddies. I want no part of that either. Alright, the assassin's down. That's good. See? And there's another one. That sucks. Hide back here. We can't even wrench that camera, so I'll cryo it from back here. Oops. That time we got a protocol droid. That's quite a bit easier to deal with, as you can see. Alright, let's search this room now, at least to the best of our ability. We've still got a spider in there, but in the meantime, this body has a speed booster and 12 armor-piercing bullets, which I'll go ahead and recycle. Nothing else behind that bench. The assassin didn't drop anything. So we head over here, we find a soda can, which I'll just recycle. This body has 49 nanites and a med kit. On the ground here is a maintenance tool. And over on the bench we have a magazine, a bottle of vodka, and a pack, a pack of cigarettes, all of which are simply fodder for the recycler. Now the door to shuttle control is Access denied, security locked down. So all we can really do is head toward the tram. You have wounded Xerxes, but we will not allow him to be destroyed. See if the machine mother treats her servant with such devotion. We're getting bum rushed. Spider and the droid. Let's deal with the droid first. He's oh, anything, sir. quite a bit more dangerous, and if we're really fancy, we can knock off half the spider's health at the same time. That was awesome. 
Alright. First, we have a charging station. Let's go ahead and hit that. Now, as we head over here, we find the stats upgrade unit, which I have no use for. Inside the trash can, we find seven cyber modules. Brings my total to 79. On the corpse, we have 12 standard bullets and a pistol from which we can unload three more standard bullets for a total of 15. On the ground, past the corpse, we find an audio log. McKay, July 12th, 2114. Regarding their escaping. I hope you're still alive, Miss Delacroix. We really could use some guidance up here. They've got those lady cyborgs of theirs loading up the shuttles with those eggs. I don't know what their plan is, but it looks like they're running scared. I hear rumors of someone else besides you fighting back. Should I even hope to get out of this? I'm just gonna hang back until I figure out what the hell to do. Here's the Psy upgrade unit. We need 89 modules to get fourth tier neural capacity. We're 10 away from that. So let's keep heading toward the tram. First corpse has three proximity grenades. Cycle. Second corpse, 20 nanites. The replicator. Hi there. Please make your selection. A bottle of vodka for 12, a psi hypo for 120. An antitoxin hypo for 56. And Hi there. Six, Please yes. make your selection. And six standard bullets for 96. It's gonna be tough. So when she mother told us of the planet of her birth. We know how you have harmed this place with your pollution your violence. and your discord. But when we arrive there, we will cleanse the surface of that place and merge it with the harmony of the many. Interesting. Inside this trash can we find a bag of chips to recycle. As well as three more cyber modules, bringing my total to 82. Now this replicator is busted, but inside the tray we find two bottles of vodka, 12 anti-personnel bullets, and two bags of chips, all of which we can, of course, recycle. And this third corpse has a crystal shard on it. So now let's board the tram. I was about to call it the train. I guess there's nothing wrong with calling it the train, but... Let's ride it down to the first stop. <coughs> Command doesn't lend itself very well to the type of divisions that I typically prefer. I almost forgot, but we have to get over and get crouched really quickly in order to avoid being taken down by those turrets. Anyway, as I was saying, Command doesn't really lend itself well to Division. There are only two maps on Command, but we have to do them, like, one half at a time. Alright, let's use a Psy Hypo before we cryo this guy the rest of the way down. Notice how much bigger my Overload window is since I maxed Psy out to so six. doing a lot more damage, even than it did with Psy at 5. You can see why we wanted to get the stat to 6 before the game difficulty really started to ramp up, which sort of starts to happen on this deck, but really takes off on the next one, after we leave the Von Braun and Rick and Locker. Never okay with wasting Psy, so... Quick load. Can't just can't quite seem to get this lined up. Who knows? Anyway. There we go. But we'll 
easily get all of the fourth tier powers that we want before we leave this deck. Anyway, there's nothing on either destroyed turret. So let's check the two trash cans. Nothing in either of them. So this door just isn't even reacting to our presence. Let's grab the audio log over here. Delacroix, July 11th, 2114, regarding Shodan. Palito indicated that the AI on that would be to be shot was actually going to... Interesting. Something Shodan didn't want anyone to hear. Surprise, surprise. The whole time you're playing this game, you just know Shodan is going to turn on you. It's just a question of when. Anyway. Nothing at or near this bench. This waste barrel is empty. Here are the two analyt eggs, whose music you've doubtless been hearing. It would be grand if we could get close enough to wrench it without triggering the swarm, but we can't. It's just how these things go. Let's see if this one's got anything. It's empty. Can't get close enough to it either. Jesus, which is fine. Let's head into the other room now. There's a security crate. Inside the waste barrel, there's nothing. On the corpse, there are four cyber modules, bringing my total up to 86. I am now only three away from fourth tier neural capacity. So I guess the only thing to do is head to the next tram stop toward the bridge. That's where Shodan wanted us to go anyway. Alright. Let's fight this spider. Thing. Here's a log, Prefontaine, July 9th, 2114, regarding floating Psy users. The data gathering process is going well. Before I'm taken by the many, I will hopefully transmit a fair bit of information to whoever will listen. The large floating creatures are not only capable of attacking with powerful Psy projections, but are Psy projections themselves. Destroying them only temporarily disables them. The real source of power comes from a small control organism, which is usually located somewhere nearby. Although this control organism is quite powerful through its projections, it's eminently vulnerable once rooted out. Alright, that waste barrel is empty. Doesn't appear to be anything else down here. This trash can is also empty. Here in the hallway... I've located you, finally. This is Dr. Marie Delacroix. I have vital information for you, but I'm trapped in Cargo Bay A. Come find me as soon as you can. Interesting. That email from Delacroix, July 12th, 2114, regarding Soldier. Anyway, behind this container, girder, thing, whatever, are six cyber modules. Now that brings my total to 92. Before I head through the bulkhead, I am going to run back to the upgrade units and grab fourth tier neural capacity. So let's do that right quick. will have repopulated, but that's okay. Yep, there he is. Assassin. We got him. No problem. So, fourth tier neural capacity. And we got eight maximum psi, and... Now we can buy fourth tier Psy powers, of which I desire four. This, and this is the order I'm going to get them in. I need 
electron suppression, which immobilizes robotic targets. You can see immediately how that'll be useful. Robots have been such a pain in the ass so far. This will make them much easier to deal with. Photonic redirection is awesome. I'm gonna... Once I get photonic redirection, I'm gonna kill all of my first impression enemies are the ones that are initially there, and then I will probably just turn invisible to dodge the rest of them if I can't dodge them without being invisible. Then I'm going to get remote circuitry manipulation, which will finally allow us to hack psionically. It's much harder than investing in the tech skill, but there are a few places where we just have to hack, and actually this deck is one of them. And finally, I'm going to get Molecular Transmutation, which turns ammunition and hypos into nanites. Like the Recycler, but more efficient. Anyway, the fourth tier powers all cost 21 modules. I have three, so I'm 18 modules away from my next purchase. another spider has spawned in. But here's another thing I've clued into. I think the respawn works a lot like the first system shock, except there's no hard ceiling ever. But I think if I don't kill things, then they'll stop spawning. So when I get something that's relatively easy to dodge, like say a spider, something without a ranged attack, I will probably just leave it alive as long as I have cleared the area and all I need to do is run through it like now. So we'll leave this spider alive. Just run right around him. And through the bulkhead to the bridge. Here we are, and I'll keep playing a little bit because we weren't able to access most of the last map, and I just haven't been going that long. Move it, Tommy! The escape pod is this way! That damn worm nearly bit my leg off. Oh no. Rumbler. As Tommy and Rebecca slowly run away. Well, Tommy and Rebecca run away from a rumbler while the door slowly opens to let us into this area. We will follow them, but not immediately. First, I'm sure you hear the camera, same as I do. With it. In the meantime, searching the trash can yields 20 nanites and a can of soda, which I'll just recycle, and an incomplete surgical unit here in this little medical bay. I hear a spider, but I don't know where it is. I think, I think it's above me. Crystal shard on the ground. The replicator is broken. This trash can is empty. Behind this desk, we have another crystal shard. The body has 20 nanites. On the desk are five cyber modules, brings my total up to eight. The body in the pool has 12 standard bullets, six armor-piercing bullets, and an assault rifle with two more standard bullets. We'll recycle all of the ammunition, and we'll deal with this oh, protocol droid. <laughs> Good night, sir. Alright, let's head over here. I hear assassins. I think... They're also above me. This is the way to the bridge, but we don't... have an access card. So the only thing to do is head up a level. Let's do that. We can go toward the escape pods, or to the officer's quarters. Or we can go up another level. Got the camera. I heard a turret down the hall. And here's the assassin I was hearing. Let's deal with the assassin out here. That handled. 
Now, let's listen to the audio log. Suarez, July 12th, 2114, regarding pod problems. Getting the escape pod working again wasn't as easy as we thought. Beck had to go back down to engineering. Thank God somebody managed to get the elevators turned on again. I found the bridge key and performed the override on the access protocols. And now, I think we're ready to go. All right. Let's head to the officer's quarters first. There's another camera in here, you can no doubt hear. Take care of that, and then search the room we're in. We have a pack of cigarettes, a multi-picture, a spider, An audio log, Norris, July 7th, 2114, regarding a dream. They've cut off the central elevator. What's going on? Last night I had the strangest dream. I was in my room by myself. But all of a sudden, there was not just me there, but a hundred me's. A thousand me's. The strange thing was, it felt good. I felt like I was part of something. Wake up along. I hope I have the same dream tonight. We have a soda can on the ground, a pile of worms, a laser rapier, and on the corpse, three EMP grenades, three frag grenades, and 21 nanites. Let's recycle everything we don't need, to the key, and let's keep moving toward the officer's area. This corpse has 26 nanites and an audio log, Norris, July 6th, 2114, regarding shuttle control. Paranoia has struck. Somebody has changed the access codes of the security station in the officer's quarters, and now we can't get the key to shuttle control. I think Myers is the likely suspect. All that guy thinks about is conspiracy theories and naked girls. On the ground here, there are 20 prisms, which we can go ahead and recycle. No way we can get past the assault droid in order to wrench it. Now with that done, I think I think what I can do is get him to walk up to the pipes and I can wrench him from under here. Well, there's an assassin. I think he's ambushing us from behind. Thankfully, that's not about to happen. Handle the assassin. There's nothing on that corpse. But here's the military Sir, bot again. I'm sorry, I didn't see. I'm 
hopeful this is the last area we'll have to fight before I get electron suppression. Ability to paralyze them will make a big difference. As I'm sure you can imagine. Got the assault droid. Sir, where are you, Marvelous? Now it'll be tough to talk over the protocol droid, so I'm gonna head up the ladder and deal with them before I even search the ground floor. As you can see, there are three of them. I'm sorry, I didn't. Here, dudes. That's the triumphant way. Marvelous Jesus, if I do see so myself. Right away, sir. Marvelous, right away, sir. Marvelous, right away, sir. Marvelous, right away, sir. Marvelous, right away, sir. Do see so myself. Right away, sir. I'm sure this is just what you were looking for. Alright. Now things have quieted down. Let's search this area. Just go left to right. Another audio log. Norris, July 7th, 2114. Regarding what's going on. Something is going on. Karenjkin has sealed himself off in Deck 3. He keeps calling for people to go down there one by one. Vogel, Boynton, Switterak. None of them will come back. If they call for me, I don't know what I'm going to do. And Bronson is starting to make a lot of noise. You're the senior flight officer. You have to act. I would. If I knew what the hell was going on. All right, here's a shotgun. It's in perfect condition, but there's no ammo. We search the corpse. We find three incendiary grenades, which I'll go ahead and recycle. Over here, we find a bottle of vodka. Back here, we find a second bottle of vodka. Inside the crate, 20 nanites. Go ahead and recycle those two vodka bottles. Over here, a security crate. Now, before I search upstairs, let's head into the bathrooms. Another audio log. Norris, July 8th, 2114. Regarding Karenchkin. I got an email from Karenchkin this morning saying he was coming up for an inspection. And when he arrived, it was something revolting. It was Anatoly, but it wasn't. At the same time, it seemed beautiful, and I felt like part of it. He sang to us, all of us, and we felt like one of many. All right. Let's search the ladies' room first. Grubs, apparently. Four of them. has eight cyber modules, brings my total up to 16. Now let's search the men's room. Nothing back here except a maintenance tool, which I'll just recycle. Now we'll head up to the second level, the actual officer's quarters, and we'll do some searching there. Yes, same thing, left to right, starting here. Nothing on the bed. Top locker has a large beaker. Bottom locker is empty. Same room, a pile of worms. 
So let's turn that beaker into worm clusters and recycle them. This locker has a surgical unit activation key, which I guess we'll use on the unit downstairs. Top locker's empty, bottom locker's empty. Sounds like some grubs have spawned. On the corpse, we have 41 nanites. A medical kit in the top locker, empty bottom locker. I thought I counted six. More than that. Eight. Eight grubs. Good grief. Down they go. Alright. Now let's search this middle area. We've got a corpse. Nothing. Uh, don't have the code for that. We could hack it with a skill of one, but that's not needed. Here's the chemical storeroom. Got a wrench and a chemical manifest log. Chemical manifest command. Laboratory stockroom inventory command closet 204 arsenic AS2 barium BA2 cesium CS2 hassium HS2 molybdenum NMO2 radium RA2 selenium SE2 technetium TC3 tellurium TE1 this inventory list is required by UNN safety code number 134882 to be kept on hand in all areas of hazardous chemical storage. Storage is defined by UNN safety code number 195331 to consist of all areas in which hazardous chemicals, see safety code number 093355, are stored in quantities greater than 50 grams per 10 square feet for durations of greater than 24 hours. Alright. Now let's search this next big outer room. Same way, left to right. This first egg on the ground is empty. I actually could wrench it. Also, this corpse has 34 nanites. Two broken lockers. Back here, the top locker has three disruption grenades for our recycler. The bottom locker is empty. This egg is empty and gloriously rendered two broken lockers. And the ceiling egg is empty and also wrenchable. The locker here has six cyber modules, which brings my total up to 22. We're going to have to go grab a power. But we'll do it after we clear this area out. Let's open this little bedroom, or room next, I guess it is a bedroom. In the desk we find three frag grenades to recycle. The multi-picture, I think is just a multi-picture. Yep. Another bedroom here. We've got three disruption grenades, ten prisms, ten prisms, and muerte. Well, let's recycle all of that ammo, and then check the next big room. Empty beds, top locker, a psi booster, bottom locker, nothing. Two busted lockers, two ceiling eggs. First one is empty, and fully wrenchable, which is Top locker's empty, bottom locker's empty. Second egg is empty and fully wrenchable. Now, stasis field generator, we can unload two prisms from it, which we'll do and we'll recycle them. The corpse has ten prisms, also for the recycler. Top locker, empty. Bottom locker, empty. And here, the one unbroken locker is empty. So let's search the last big dormitory style room. Top locker empty, bottom locker a med hypo. We've got a corpse on the ceiling, which is empty. We've got a scantily clad woman on a poster here. And we triggered a big grub spawn. Let's deal with them before we do anything else. Alright, search this locker. We have an audio log. 
Myers, July 6th, 2114. Your skill surprises me. Transmitting cybernetic modules. Modules. Please, we receive 20 cyber modules when we pick up the log. That brings my total to 42. I can already afford two powers. Anyway, the log is Myers, July 6th, 2114, regarding security rewired. I rewired the security station to 83273. I don't trust any of those bastards. On the ground, we find a grenade launcher, from which we can unload one frag grenade. We also find two clips of three incendiary grenades. We'll recycle everything. Top locker here has three disruption grenades. Again, for the recycler. Bottom locker's empty. That corpse is empty. Top locker has an antitoxin high bow and 32 nanites. Bottom locker's empty. This corpse is empty, and the one unbroken locker is empty. Now we have the code for this door, 83273, so let's open it up and head inside. There's an EMP rifle in the corner. On the corpse are three EMP grenades, which we'll recycle. There's a high security crate. <coughs> Excuse me, a security control station. And in the desk, we have 23 nanites and a shuttle bay access card. Perfect. Let's head down this ladder now. If I can find my way back to the ladders. Let's go ahead and head down this hallway toward the escape pods. This corpse has a grenade launcher empty and three frag grenades on it. That's cool. We've got a camera there, which... Cannot get to in time, so we we'll just have to cryo it. Now there's an assassin somewhere. I tell you what we're going to do, folks. We're going to call it a video. So, we'll pick it up here next time. This has been Let's Play System Shock 2. Thank you all for watching. Bye-bye.